Angelos TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. And now to Rev. Michael Sassamu. Praise the Lord. And today we are zeroing into something very important. Very important because to me that is the mark of legacy that one can leave behind. And that is about the children that God has given us. It's about parenting. It's about the promises of God. That the promises that God has made as a covenant with us concerning our children. And how that we need to understand these promises. Because it's very evident that God doesn't guarantee that he will automatically save our children. No. But he gives us many promises to inspire us to pray for our children and believe him to have them born again. If it was like that every child of a minister of the gospel or every child of a believer becomes a Christian, we'll be having so many Christians today. But that is not the case because it is work to raise up a godly offspring. It is not an easy thing. It is doable. It is achievable. It is expected of us, but we must do it according to the word of God. So today I want us to read a scripture from the book of Isaiah. And I love this portion of scripture. That is Isaiah 54 and verse 13. And this is what it says. All your children shall be taught by the Lord. And great shall be the peace of your children. So God promises you that all of your children, not some of your children, all of your children, daughters and sons, all of your children, those who are highly educated and those who are not educated, those who have resources and those who don't have resources, all of your children shall be taught by the Lord. So it is upon you as a parent to stand in the presence of God and intercede for your children and pray that the ears, their inner ears will be opened, that their eyes of understanding will be opened to understand the voice of God because God is constantly teaching the world. He's constantly teaching his people. And our children, the Lord says, this is his covenant with us, that our children shall be taught by the Lord himself. And as I told you, the Bible is using Lord all capitals, meaning Jehovah, meaning Yahweh, personal God. That God will become a personal God, a personal savior of our children. That our children will come to the point where they know him and intimately have a relationship with him. You have the duty to pray and claim this promise to your, chil to, uh, to your children. Pr prom uh, claim this promise of God. Your children could not be with you at home. It is possible they have rebelled or they are walking away from you. They are in college. You don't know what they are doing in college. But there is a promise of God that will never ever fail. And the promise is that they shall be taught by the Lord himself. The Lord himself will teach your children. So pray for your children who are in college. Pray for your children who are in school, who are away, who are doing job away from home. Pray for your children from wherever they are that they will be taught of the Lord and that the Lord will strengthen them, that the Lord will give them guidance, that the Spirit of the Almighty God will draw them into the presence of God. That your rebellious children will come back to you worshiping the Lord. That wherever they are, the Lord will appear to them. They might have gone to the farthest parts of your country. 
and you don't know where they are. But I'm telling you, they cannot run away from God because he has said he will teach them. So it is upon you to stand on the promises of God, to claim this promise, to declare this promise over your children. Daily, you, I walk up in the morning and I say, Lord, let my children be taught of you. Wherever they are, O oh Lord, let them be taught of you and let them be obedient to the voice of the Almighty God. And I'm telling you, God will bring back your wayward children full of when they are full of the Holy Ghost and power because they have encountered him wherever they went. God is not limited. He can reach out to your children in, who are in prison. God is not limited. He can reach out to your children who are in prostitution. He is not limited. He can reach out to your children who are on drug and substance abuse. He will teach your children. I believe this encourages you as you end your day. I just pray that you end this day without stress, without any burden on your mind. Because God is teaching your children and you are a co-creator together with him. He wants you to put him to remembrance of his word. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. I give you praise and glory because God, you care and you're concerned about our lives. I just want to pray for our children wherever they are, oh God. And all the children of men and women who have tuned in, that are listening. Lord, it is possible some of these parents have rebellious children and who, are, who have disappeared from home, who are in bondage of all, for all, all, all forms. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you appear to our children and teach them and instruct them in the paths of your righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.